What's up guys and welcome back to my hardcore series. Uh, I was just hanging out here in the desert because I was looking for uh, Endermen because uh, I just we need to get more Ender Pearls and stuff like that and uh, well it's just it's tough to find these fellows so I figured I'd come over here hang out a bit and um, well uh, if you guys haven't noticed yet a lot of my mobs have uh, little hats and stuff like this guy has a pig he's pretending to be a pig. Um, so yeah, I got the uh, the hats mod. That's literally just what it's called, the hats mod, which is um, was recommended me to me from Samalingus, who um, you guys should know from my uh, oh my headset is very loud. What should uh, should know from the Beastcraft episode I just did with him? Which way is it? Okay, that's the way. All right, now it shouldn't be too loud. So um, as you can see, I got a couple of achievements there for those hats, and that's because. I only have those two hats I just killed and then this one because I haven't played uh, on the here uh, with the hats mod up until just now but the first thing I killed was crown and I was like oh shit I have to unlock them because I've only ever played this on um, multiplayer so there's a cake hat and the crown the crown's pretty cool um, and then I could do random hat which will go through my own hats and I guess that reloads them and I can color it if I wanted to but uh, I, I don't mind the the color, the, the default color. So if we see any cool hats, like this sweet pig hat, there we go. Uh, now we should have the. Uh, just make sure I'm gonna say. Oh, okay. It pauses the game. I didn't know if it paused or not. Now we got a pig, and obviously we can't see it in first person. But if we go into third, you can see it. I got a giant old pig on my head, <laughs> which uh, is pretty funny. There's an octopus right there. I kind of like the diamond thing, um, so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be hunting for hats too while we do this, um, which should add. Oh, well, I didn't kill him, so missed out on that one. Um, this guy looks like Mr. Saturn. Uh, I could be wrong. Face hugger? No, just a just a thing. It looked like um, Mr. Saturn. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. That sheep over there has a jester hat. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool mod it doesn't do anything other than just puts hats on people so uh, I think it I think it's okay to keep it in um, uh, my hardcore series and because it doesn't it doesn't add uh, any other extra features or nothing like that I got a bunch of arrows in me <laughs> can't even see my face anymore um, but that's a, that's a pretty cool hat that guy over there has mr. T but uh, anyways, I was out in the desert looking for uh, Enderman, and I saw this. We have a desert temple over there. So uh, I figured, god dang, you cannot escape these guys. Um, their shot is just, it's too good. And uh, we also need to get a chicken coop going, uh, which is, oh, he has a tiny hat, a monocle. I want that. Come here. Come in. Come in. Get away from those skellies. Okay, Lambert 2091. I wonder if those are donators, or if it's just people I don't know. No monocle, and a tiny little hat. Kick hat's pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, we can look for that. That <laughs> spider has a big hat. Um, but yeah, I was pretty surprised to see a little temple out here. This place, this uh, this map really does have a lot of things in it that are pretty close by. And uh, I've been thinking, it's probably going to be terrible to find a stronghold um, uh, on this map, but I, I don't know. I, I think it might be uh, somewhat... Oh, god dang it. I hate not having sharpness. Um, it's so hard to kill creepers. No, 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 no. Okay. Whoa! All right, there we go. Okay, now that the creepers are out of the way, we can go uh, go inside this temple. Check it out. Um, I don't know if there's a formal entrance. Like, there's a creeper on a plate, I guess. Hissing hat. Uh, I've only ever just gone like. I guess that would be the entrance, huh? You have to climb up into it. Oop. So, um, oh wow, there's a couple of blocks missing here. Oh, have I been in this one? 
Ah, oh, man. Now I feel stupid for not remembering. Um, it looks like I've been to this one. Yeah, it's a staircase. Okay, so I have been to this one. Interesting. Um, man, it's been a while since uh, I've been to this one then. If I completely forgot about it. Yeah, because I, I took out all the TNT and stuff. Well, shoot, never mind, guys. I, I just started recording because I thought, oh, man, there's another uh, desert temple over here. But I've been to this one. So I should probably put something here to maybe remind myself next time if this happens again. Get out of here. Uh, let's put in some gravel. Man, that train outside is really going out all out. There we go. We'll put a we'll put a gravel thing there to let us know that we've been here. Well, shoot. Um, another cool thing I saw was this mountain over here. I didn't know that it was flat on this side, but from over here it looked pretty awesome. Let me just collect some of this stuff. Have you got a cat? Oh. Tiger eye. Little well, tiger. Oh, did I not get that? Hmm. Oh, this guy's in chainmail. Is that all enchanted? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? My god. Nothing. I did get um a couple of enchanted stuff. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Solar helmet. Um I did pick up a few enchanted gear at my farm there. I got uh, the chain helmet that's uh, not enchanted, but I also got that gold hat, these pants, and these uh, these leather boots. So, um, the leather boots are, are pretty good for leather, I guess. Fire protection and feather falling. But I'm more excited about having more chain mail. Because that means I can um, prepare my other chain mail. So, pretty happy about that. I'll put... Boop! I guess I could take those... Uh, Sandstone bricks. I don't really have a use for them right now, though. Uh, so, it doesn't... That guy has a paint mask. I'm not seeing any Endermen out here. Hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna keep on uh, looking. I thought uh, I thought that temple was a new place that I haven't been. But uh, I guess it's just because I, I came at it from a different angle. So it felt new to me. There we go. I still haven't found that jungle temple. Maybe I'll head out that way and uh, spend a bit more time looking for that. <laughs> Look at all the hats. There's so many creepers out here, too. <gasps> Enderman. There we go. What's he wearing? I don't want to look at his head. He has a top hat with an arrow through it. Ah, oh, damn it. Right, this thing has fire on it, and that kind of makes him go crazy. Hmm... It's a Lego head. Oh, I lost that. Uh, maybe I need a new sword. Let's go back home. I got 32 levels. Let's go home. Make a new sword. So I'm gonna cut right now. Okay, so I see a desert village over there. But I don't think that's the desert village that I originally went to. And now... Hmm. I don't know. We're probably gonna... We're gonna go check out that place too. I, I, it's just my memory is just killing me right now that uh, I don't remember if I've been to that one or not. Because our desert village is over that way. And I think I remember talking about how there's two. So uh, we're definitely going to have to go over there and check it out. I feel like my view is really far. Much more far, uh, far than, than normal. Um, so uh, now that we're home, let's go, uh, let's go enchant a sword. See what we get. We need a, an Enderman Slayer. So let's hope it's uh, it's nothing terrible. Sticks. There we go. Put you up there. Pain of anthropods. Ah! Arthropods. Not anthropods. You got, you got three and a four. Oh, we can't combine them, huh? Can't combine swords to make it. Oh yeah, there we go. Just makes it another four. 28 levels to repair it. Uh, it's more like the bane of my existence. 
such a waste and that that zombie farm is not fun to to work in either it uh it takes forever to get anything what's uh let's repair these two chain helmets oh i only got one i thought i had two i got two, i got a bunch of pants i guess project you know what these aren't even worth it i'll just um actually if i do it in there protection one do it the other way around. Protection two. Oh, seven levels. Darn it. Seven levels. Uh, I get experience from coal. Let's, uh, let's bust out some coal. Fortune three. This is basically how I go about um, mining things when I have a bunch of ore. I got this long path right here. And I figured, you know, this is... Uh, just as good as any to oh oh okay well, that works too any place to uh to knock down stuff and uh having silk touch is, is very nice because it, it saves me on um space for resources and stuff bust this down hopefully get seven levels Okay, so the coal didn't give me anything. It gave me, well, I got two stacks of coal out of it, but I only got up to like level five. So I, I grabbed some diamond and um, enchanted that and I got up to 10. So uh, now we need to do two, then one, seven. Can I do this and keep it? Sure can. Ah, oh, dang it, eight. <laughs> Let's uh, just do all of them except for one. No, 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 no. There we go. We'll put them in here. So I don't have to walk outside where it's cold and chilly. Get so much experience for diamond. Love fortune three. 34 diamonds. All right, so that, that. All right, so we got partially repaired chainmail pants. Not bad. We got a bunch more diamonds as well. Wow, it's almost a almost a stack and a half. We got a stack and a quarter. Um, so uh, let's go check out that desert place. Why not? I got a bunch of eh, whatever. It's just random crap. We'll take the random crap with us, and um, hopefully, I'm, I'm, hopefully we haven't been to this place. If we have, I, I apologize. But I know my desert village is out that way, not straight this way. But uh, my my mind does say that uh, I may have talked about this at some part. I saw the mini minecart. I also like the little glove. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> Piston with the top hat. Come on, it's awesome. Where's the uh, piston top hat? Look at that. How awesome. <laughs> I just pooped out an egg. I didn't know I had so many uh, so many chickens back here. There's a Pikachu over there. Let me get out of there. The hat, it's just it's such a cool mod to put on, just to uh, see all the silly hats. And they they look great on on the tiny animals. A little frog hat. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Skyrim mask. Skyrim hat, as they so called it. I think it's just called an Iron Helm in, in Skyrim. I didn't know I had this many sheep out here either. Whoop. Okay, well I guess we're checking this place out real quick. Uh-huh. Well, that's cool. I guess that goes to a ravine over there. Not bad. Has some coal in here. I got a lot of coal at the house, so I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Let's go back up. Put a couple of torches there, just so we know. Look for any signs of me being here. Uh, no, it still has villagers. The farm seems intact. It's a very tiny village. Very small one. Hello. 10 gravel and emerald for 5 flint? Man, count me in. 
I like your pig hat. An emerald for two cookies. Or not two cookies. Ten cookies. Seventeen raw chicken for an emerald. Wow. You guys are really living it up over here, aren't you? Um, I don't think I've ever... This house looks different to me. But I know it's not. I think it's just because it's reversed. Hmm. I don't know. Very small village. I wish that they would also, like, rebuild their villages and stuff. Kind of like how um, Millionaire was. I think it was Millionaire, yeah. Where you can give the villagers um, materials and stuff and they'll rebuild their town. I just want more uses for them. You're so useless. You're so useless. Boop! Um... Don't need the farm. Okay, so uh, I'm happy that we haven't been here. That's that is something I am happy about because I could have sworn I did talk about another desert village. And uh, I thought that we've been here. So I think this is going to be an adventure episode. Going to uh, explore a bit. Bring you guys back. Uh, if I find anything cool, I, I think I'm going to head back to the jungle and um, look for that jungle village or temple. I, I, I've asked, I'm pretty sure it was Chad. I uh, asked him a bunch of uh, where it's at and stuff like that so I can go and find it, but um, I never wrote it down and I'm really bad at keeping track of stuff. Oh, crap. Gotcha. Got the jester hat too. All right, so let's go to uh, let's go to the jungle. Okay, so I've been going for a while now, and I see some cobblestone straight ahead of me over there behind the trees. Holy crap! And an Enderman. Nice. Sorry, buddy. I don't uh, I don't have a sword that you like. Um. Okay, shut up now. You done? Okay. Um. We're not too far out. My, uh, as you can see, like the torch is coming from that way. Straight that way is my iron golem farm, and um, over there should be my my village. My desert village is over there. So um, you come out this way, and then um, well, I should probably eat. Not keeping that hunger up. Um, is the uh, the village? So let's go check them out. Some squids down there. The pig has a pig hat on! It's a double pig! Uh, that's just weird. Um, okay, so. I think that this is a jungle village. If I remember right, they are made with cobblestone, yeah? Uh, so, I'm pretty excited. I haven't actually ever found one um, legitimately. Every time I've seen them is either on like a server or something like that, you know, or flying around or doing something like that. Never in a legit world where we get to go and see what's inside of here. And it sounds like it's it's a, there's a party going on over here. Someone stepped on a pressure plate in there. Okay, so here's the temple. Uh, here, I'll throw up the coordinates too so you guys can see. Um, what is that? Minus 153 and uh, 158. Yeah, okay, there we go. So there's the coordinates for you guys that are following along. You guys can come over here too. Try to keep my eye on um, any pressure plates or anything. No? Okay. This is pretty cool though. Um, I like this a lot. I, I wish uh, Mojang would, would do more stuff like this. That more ruins and, and things you could just find. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's go in here. Oh, there's a bunch of switches. I don't... I don't know what these do. Oh, that's a dispenser. Yeah. It's, um... 
That's a tripwire. Ow. Okay. Well, I, I deserve that. <laughs> okay. Not bad. <laughs> they weren't even uh they weren't even sly with a redstone here. And that's uh that's another tripwire there. I like how they tried to cover it too. Got a couple of arrows in there. Not bad. Okay, so um I mean forgive me if I'm being too too cautious in here. I just Okay, we got some gold. And uh we'll throw we'll throw away what are we gonna throw away guys? I did. I picked up some clay too, by the way. I'm sure you guys have, have noticed by now. Spider eyes, and a uh, rotten flesh as well. This is backwards though. All right, so we got all those, but we have these levers over here, which I'm not sure what they do. So uh, let's uh. Where did, where did that go? Where did that open up? Something upstairs? Did it not open up anything yet? Is that what I'm, I'm seeing? Pistons. I don't know where though. Hmm. Again, guys, I'm being a little over cautious because I I literally have no idea what this what this what the what it does, what it can do. Because I mean, okay, the sand ones, the desert ones, they they explode. I mean, you step on that pressure plate down below, boom, boom goes the dynamite. I mean, Brenny did that in his own hardcore to where uh, they exploded so let's um oh what that's that went down yeah am I just <gasps> there it is okay wait there's no uh there's no ladder though. I mean, I know that's probably, you know, against people's morals to break it to get in here, but I didn't see any stairs, so. I don't need bones. I don't need that. Why did I pick that up? That's very cool. And this is an awesome source of mossy cobble. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am going to uh, take all of this mossy cobble now that we've discovered the secrets. I, I don't feel any shame in in breaking it. Um, you know, obviously I could have busted this place apart to find out, you know, what those pistons were opening and stuff. But whoop, that ruins some of the fun. You know, I wanna wanna be able to do the um, puzzles and stuff legitly, and then tear it apart. Then steal it of all of its mossy cobblestone. Oh no! Not all the redstone! The precious redstone! There we go! There's our, uh, our pistons. Getting pretty close to having a stack. I'll just take a stack for now, but if I ever need to come back here, I know where it's at now. Shouldn't be too hard. I think that just filled on my stack, yep. You got a couple of pistons there. Pretty cool. I like it. Very awesome. I, th I, I just expected um, it to be a little bit more shocking because uh, back when I used to run mods and stuff, there was temples like that that were just insane. Like they were filled with monsters and 
explosions and traps and everything was trying to kill you and as a matter of fact playing a hardcore series with some of those mods I think would just be the most devastating thing ever because it would be so hectic all the time with all the stuff that's going around um, so if anybody's doing that you should look out for them watch their stuff Australia uh, I get it Australia my cry it's upside down uh, but yeah I'll show you guys uh, how easy it is to get over here um, I'm just gonna go straight out this way that way you guys uh, have a frame of reference to where we're at Boo, 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 boo. Oh, I'm out of torches. Man, I use a lot of them. Neat little pond. So here's the uh, the desert by... Um, yeah, I know. I get it. The, um, the village. But this is uh, the outside of the jungle and my town is right there you can see my uh, was it my train station yeah my train station the desert village is right there so you just go uh, go straight that way so go around to the left of the uh, the jungle you can see my tracks and stuff right there go to the left of that and then go straight that way and you'll find it but um it's pretty fun maybe we should uh go a bit further out maybe go out uh, that way and uh, see what's uh, see what's going on over there and we're home so uh, I put all the items away that I picked up except for these detector reels up no room for them mm. let's see what can we take out of here I'll take these wood signs and put them downstairs in the uh, the wood the wood box. There we go. Organize that a bit later. We'll go out this way. Got a bunch more uh, potatoes and uh, clear inventory and uh, the will to live. Three things needed. Is there a zombie somewhere around here? There is a zombie somewhere around here. These guys are just having a blast in the water. I did see um, one villager. Uh, he was out here by himself. So uh, every now and then, I guess they they'll glitch through, but it shouldn't happen a lot. There you are, you sneaky devil. Go, and uh, of course. go all right let's go got a, a wizard over there but if we're gonna go out that way over there in fact there's another jungle over there I wonder if uh, how often the uh, the jungle temples spawn um, how often they get to they, they come out uh, but we do need to go to the nether soon pick up um, some blaze rods so we can start making blaze powder and um, making those uh, not uh, ender pearls, but <gasps> excuse me, ender eyes. <sighs> Yawning. Been up for for a while. Woke up at 4, 4 a.m. because I've been trying to fix my sleep schedule. That's why there wasn't a video out yesterday. But there's going to be two out today. There wasn't a server Saturday because Beastcraft was um um it opened last Friday for us Saturday, I guess for uh for the Aussies. So uh, I was up all night uh, with them. Brenny streamed for a very long time, so I was in and out of that. And um, someone decided to uh, to DDoS us, and of course that brought down Mongoose Country as well. And um, it was a whole it was a whole thing. So uh, oh well, welcome to uh, your new home. That's uh, that was what's what was going on with that, and I figured you know what it's it's already past it, so we'll just have a. Um, a big server Saturday this next uh, Saturday to make up for it uh, because I just uh, I don't know I'd rather 
get moving on uh, other content and there's other stuff that I have to edit and stuff like that. So I figured, you know, you guys, you guys will be okay without a service Saturday. It's not like um, I haven't ever missed one. It just, it happens with uh, owning a server. Random things happen. We a collapse or something here. Kind of neat. I don't know why I tried to put a torch there. <laughs> But I did. This looks to be the same jungle connected. So I don't think we're gonna find anything there. So let's uh let's go out that way. But first let's uh let's actually get to ground to where we can actually run. And uh venture away on over there. Not too worried either. I feel like I have enough gear and a, a decent enough sword now to handle myself. Got a good amount of food, got good um picks and everything like that. Look at all these sheep stuck in here. There we go. Solve their problem. You got a cage around your head. There we go. Now we have enough wool to make a bed if we need to. What, uh, what hat do I have on right now? Ah, yeah, the piston one. <laughs> I like that one. It's a good hat. Solid hat. Come on, sprint. There you go. Whoa. It's kind of neat. Hmm. <laughs> the chickens are the best. It's just the hats are so tiny that it's just the best thing. You see, it's like a CRT monitor on his head. On his head. It's a blue screen. He has a tiny little, uh, Oh, top hat and goggles. Grumpy. I guess the seas are probably something. Something special. Cheese hat. Encouragement. What do we get? Grumpiness. That's right. I thought it would be in the G's. Did I just miss it? Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Here's a fez. Fez sideways. Because there's a different type of fez. He has a minor hat! Sorry guys, I'm getting... Maybe, maybe it's a bad idea to have the hat mod on here, because now I'm getting all distracted. I want that miner hat. Yeah! Because I, I have a construction worker's hat on. So miner hat is right up my alley. See, just some of them, I don't know what they are. It's a fish inside of a loaf of bread. Where, where do I know that from? Hmm. All right, so we're out here checking stuff out. We've got some pumpkins over there. Let's just go pick those up. Um, really awesome land generation going on here. What's uh, what's faster, that or this? Oh, definitely this. Got a lot of sheep out here. Man, I remember when animals weren't persistent, where you'd have to stay logged on for them to uh, to stay where they were. This is really weird. This looks like corruption to me. This doesn't look like regular land generation, but just corruption. Um, but yeah, like you'd you'd have to um, stick around to make sure the uh, the mobs stay where they were, and it was more of a guess. Or if you kill them, there wasn't it wasn't a problem. You just go and wait for them to uh, to spawn again. Oh, I thought that was a piece of wool. Let's go over this way. This looks cool. And try not to fall into a ravine too. I'll make that promise to you guys. Oh, I got a zombie, hey, buddy. Spider somewhere. I don't know where that's... He must be in this other cave. There he is. 
Why are you coming after me? It's daytime, buddy. That was weird. Hmm. Whatever. Let's go check out this mountain. Oh! <laughs> That's what I get for having my head in the clouds. How awful would that have been if that was actually a ravine? And that's how my hardcore ended. Getting distracted by hats and land generation and... Right into a pit. This is pretty... I was gonna say sweet. But it's definitely cool. Man, uh, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna kill him with something else. And an axe. Take him into, uh, better fighting grounds. Assuming he's chasing me. He's not. Hey you! Over there! Come at me! Come on! Come on! Where'd he go? And him into such D-bags now. <sighs> like the worst thing to kill. There you are. Yeah, I know, you're pissed. Ugh, and nothing! Whatever, man. Not bitter. I'm pissed. <laughs> Not that there's much of a difference. It's like a whole family of chickens down here. Now. Look at this guy. This is a, he's, a, he's the jester of the group. Like, hey, hey guys, look at me. Wearing a bunch of hats and I'm in a hole. That's a joke that he does. It's a bad joke. No one likes it. That's cool. Raccoon hat. <laughs> they look very formal in like top hats and stuff like that. Like, hmm, yes. Welcome to my coop. MTV coop edition. My coops. This is a this is a very cool area though. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with Minecraft's generation at this point. Let's just go down here. Why not? Yeah, you got like a built-in window here. Very cool. Um, there's the coordinates for you guys. Kind of get a, a good look at them. Very, very cool. If I wasn't so established at my other house, uh, I'd definitely consider coming over here. This may be in our future. But definitely, uh, definitely in the future. Got upside down pants. <laughs> Something else over there. Bunch of pigs. Uh, I'm also surprised that we haven't found another village yet. There's some snow. Hmm. And another jungle over there. Okay, I feel like I'm going on too much. This episode, it's probably already pretty long, so this is where I'm gonna end it. I know it's uh, it's not too exciting, but I feel like I've been saying that too much. I think uh, I think if this wasn't uh, if this was boring, you guys, you guys will let me know. But uh, exploring's a big part of Minecraft. Gotta get it done. I'm gonna kill these pigs and uh, make a little hut. And you know what? Next episode, let's uh, let's pick up from here. We'll go exploring a little bit more. Uh, this is this is a nice place. We'll do it right here in this little flat bit, and um, we'll go we'll go a little bit further out and see where we can go. And uh, but yeah, if you guys like this episode, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see you for the next hardcore.